Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video and this is one from quite a while ago. I was on a stitching kick and I decided to stitch this Golden Gate Bridge on the bottom of a piece of paper. Um, it was a mission, I'm not going to lie. Um, I used a old piece of Studio Calico paper. It came in a kit that um, someone passed on to me, I'm pretty sure. Um, really like the background, like the colours. <laughs> and so spent a crazy amount of time um actually stitching that on there <clears throat> and it was really odd because i couldn't get it in the right kind of position in the end i decided to just kind of go with it uh, i'm using an older piece of crepe paper as the background and then i'm going to use um the big boxes of die cuts that i brought back from the caravan um these are where i used to keep all my die cuts about a year and a half well, probably about two years ago so there's a real mixed bag of stuff there so um, I'm just going to challenge myself really to use the bits and pieces out there for my die cuts. Um, I'm going to be scrapping one picture. Um, I cut it down slightly from a 4x6, um, but it is of course a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge um, with the height like, kind of looking up into like the mist. And placement was a little bit tricky on here of course because of where I put that stitching, but I kind of wanted the stitching to be the main feature, um, so I'm not really that bothered. Um, not gonna lie, not my favourite layout I have ever made, but I really, really love it, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, got to work around that kind of weird placement. But I don't know, I really like it. I really, I'm happy with it. Which I suppose, I, I sound like I'm arguing with myself here, people. I, <laughs> I apologise, but no, I, I do like it. I've decided I like it, everyone calm down. Um... <laughs> So I'm just doing um, some quite tight layers around um, the photo because I can't be spreading out too, too much because, of course, it's going to distract away. And I still want that sort of paper to show. So here I am going through my bags of random bits. I found this felt doily. If you've been watching any of my videos from very early on, um, I had a massive thing for doilies, like coloured doilies before coloured doilies were that readily available, to be brutally honest. Um, I still have masses of doilies. Um, I think I may have to embrace the doily again. Um, been thinking a little bit about December Daily recently. Um, I think I mentioned that in my last video. So maybe some doilies will have to appear in there somewhere. Hmm, don't really know. But anyway, <laughs> um, so as I'm doing like I do with most of my um, layouts, I kind of get the photo mat done the background done and then start pulling out loads and loads of die cuts and different bits and pieces that I could layer down and as you can see there's a whole mixed bag of stuff in here um, most of it is pretty old to be honest um, and so <clears throat> really just gonna try and use it up so I'm using some branding strip pieces I'm using some 6x6 paper pads to mount those photos in um, yeah really just trying to make the most of what I've got here. Um, I pull out that um, Polaroid frame, which I think came from... I think that came from like a die-cut pack that I got in Hobbycraft, I think. Um, same kind of like greyish colour that I've mounted the whole of the layout in, like, so it kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yes, now just build up layers. These are tags and bits cut out from crepe paper paper pads and um, there's a vellum frame which I think were jelly bean soup had them hanging around for a long while um, there's like little library card bits <laughs> there's arrows there's travel theme I'm just going with it I'm just sticking it all down and seeing what happens so I'm gonna stick that little um, felt doily down put that piece of vellum down, I've got some chipboard, so I'm playing with the textures because I've already got the texture of the um, stitching on there, so that's going to work well. I've got that sticker which is an old Alison Kreft sticker I believe, and so now I've kind of roughly got everything placed, I'm just I'm just going to whack it down. Um, I It's a, just a weird layout, <laughs> but I like it. I said it's not, it's not my norm. Um, I think I've got a few layouts to share that are things that weren't really my norm. I was kind of just having to play and trying to use some older stash as well, which I think kind of encouraged me to be a little bit more creative. Um, so I didn't use anything on this layout that was new. Um, and I quite like that because I think 
like I said in my last video, I think I've got a little bit caught up with like buying new stash again and not using it or not scrapping at all and I don't know. I mean, I have like the new Maggie Holmes papers. Um and I got some in a kit and I don't really know if I like them. <laughs> um but I'm sure if they stay in my stash for like another 8 months and then I go to use them, I'll like them. So I'm just going with that. <laughs> So, I think see a lot of those um, bits and pieces have kind of quite the distressed kind of effect to them. So, so that kind of works. Just you know, adding everything up. I've got another whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, little geo tag stickers. I've got alphas. I've got quite a few travel theme bits because um, I was working on my. I think I was working mainly on my Barcelona and American album when I was in the caravan when I had this stuff. So. That kind of works. These are travel themed um, little tags, so I think I'm gonna see if I'll include any of those. Um, just end up cutting off more the tag part there. Um, I think that one says landmark. I think. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm mixing creams and whites on here as well. I think it kind of goes. Um, something I will do when I get a bit further on, I'll actually add some stamping to the background. And I think if I'd have done that first, I think I'd have been happy with the layout because it, it doesn't look very grounded. It looks very floaty. Um, but when I add that stamping in, it it helps. So I'm going to use this old alpha. This is a basic grey alpha. I believe this came in an old studio calico kit. Can't think where else it would have come from. Um, was trying to use um, the words to get golden and bridge, but couldn't. So I ended up doing golden and then gate bridge in another font, which again has been sticking around for a while. It's this sticky keys, which is an October afternoon one. Don't love that font, brutally honest, don't love it. But it was grey and it was cream and it kind of went. Um, something you will not see me do that much, I got a ruler out to do this layout. Because of the angle of the stitching, I was finding it really hard to place the alpha down so it looks straight. So I did actually pull out a ruler. So that's not something you'll see me do that much. Um, but I did do it for this layout. So just going to be, say, popping down these um, little alphas just to spell out gate and bridge. And yeah, I like it. <laughs> I know I keep going backwards and forwards to liking it on this um, video, but yes. So I've just stuck that down. I'm also then just going to put SFO up there. As you know, for my American album, I'm making sure I put the initials of the city on there somewhere. Um, so this is where I'm going to go and do some stamping. Um, I do end up then using a bit of scrap paper so I can stamp around and not get it on the photo and the other layers as well. And that makes me much happier with it. <laughs> um, so yeah I really enjoyed this this is a bit of an odd layout for me so let me know what you think, be kind please um, and I will be back with some more slightly random um, layouts soon <laughs> cheers guys, bye